Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you are joining me from all over the world today, the very third day of this program, I want you to lift up your hand and let's worship our Lord, our God. Thank you, Jesus. Just wave your hand and let's worship him. For those of us joining us live on Facebook, for those of us on Instagram, for those of you who are listening to this podcast, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Let's lift up our hand and worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end of everything. Yes, is the light in the darkness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hand and worship him. Lift up your hand and worship the King of Kings. Lift up your hand and worship he who can kill and bring to life. Lord, I worship you. Jesus. Answer for all, God, is the answer to it all. 
His name is Jesus. Jesus. That is, who you were. that is what he is. That is who you were. From the ancient of days, he never failed. That is who you were. When men let you down, he's the only one that will be there to lift you up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can we just lift up our hand and begin to appreciate our Lord, our God, wherever you are joining me from today. I want you to lift up your hand and appreciate God. Lift up your hand and bless His holy name. The Bible says our Lord is good for His mercy endureth forever. Because of the mercy of God that endureth forever, because of His mercy that is available for you, that because of His mercy that preserve you, that preserve your home, your marriage, your business, your career. Listen to me, you are alive today. You are healed and healthy today. You are still alive today because of the mercy of God. Why not just lift up your hands? Say, Father, for your mercy that is available for me, for your mercy that I enjoy, for your mercy that is on ground for me, Lord, I give you thanks. I give you praise. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are worship. Our Lord, our God, want to say thank you for this hour. We bless your holy name in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks. We give you praise for another wonderful time, another wonderful moment. We say thank you for this wonderful opportunity to still be, al to still be alive today, to today, the third day of this program, the third day of this month. Lord, take all glory in the name of Jesus. As we have come before you today, Father, I declare and I declare, let heaven open upon us in the name of Jesus. Heavens of mercy, heavens of favor, heavens of lifting, heavens of revelation, heavens of divine encounter. Lord, let it open upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. As many of you that are joining me live on Facebook, as many of you that are watching through Instagram, as many of you that are watching through YouTube, as many of you that are will listen to us through any of the social media platform, today I decree and I declare your heavens of divine encounter. Let it open upon you in the name of Jesus. Today, the Lord will encounter you. Today, there shall be revelation. Today, the word of God, a word that your destiny is waiting for, that will shoot you out, that will release you. Today, that word will locate you in the name of Jesus. At the end of this day, the name of our Lord, our God, will be glorified in your life, in your marriage, in your business, in your career, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, I welcome each and every one of you online. Today, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. The one gone. Somebody, day two. And here we are, day three. Amen. For those who are joining us for the very first time, my name is Ariola Oreolua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry. And this is Pray Nigus Network. Pray Nigus Network is an online prayer ministry where we gather together in the place of prayer to pray unto our Lord God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. Amen. I love that definition. Not that I read it anywhere, but I carve it for myself. You know, I run an online prayer school. So when I when I when I'm teaching them the rudiment of prayer, my own definition of prayer must carry two things: Jesus and Holy Spirit. So I tell them, prayer 
is communication between God and man. And when you are praying, you pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. If your prayer did not have Jesus Christ in it, <laughs> you are just doing exercise. And without the help of Holy Spirit, the Bible said, we don't know what to pray. For we don't know what to pray. But the Holy Spirit, pray in us. Pray through us. Amen. Sometimes you think that headache is the problem. But hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Headache is not your problem. <laughs> Amen. So if you are taking a, a, a painkiller to subdue that headache, it will subdue the headache, but the source of that problem is still there. Amen. So it is the Holy Spirit that will help us. Amen. So I welcome each and every one of us to the place of prayer, the place of testimony, the place of revival in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And by the special grace of God, three times in a year, we have this special program called Prayer Avalanche. The month of March, the month of July, the month of November. Prayer Avalanche. Avalanche of testimony. We pray throughout the whole month from the beginning of the month to the end of the month. In the month of March, in the month of July, and the month of November. And this is November year 2021 edition. And the theme for this edition is just a word. Just a word. Just a word. I received a testimony this morning. Amen. From one of my, my mothers online. Amen. Fruitfulness fruitfulness i said wow this this really motivates me that yes god is is still there on the throne to walk amen as many of you that are believing god for fruit of the womb just hold on did you hear me just hold on praise the lord so prayer avalanche we run it month of march month of july and month of november this november edition is just a word because the lord god wants to speak a word into our life into our marriage into our business into our career just you don't need 1500 prayer point uh -uh. just a word and he said to it joseph was left and abandoned in the prison and the bible said the king said go and fetch him for me just a word and i loved i every day i keep reading that fast and the bible said hastily that means with ace <laughs> joseph come king, king king come come ah the king gave an order go and fetch him for me if you don't run and bring him, we will use you. <laughs> Amen. So hear me, the word that will release you, that will release you from the prison of life, prison of stagnation, from that ugly situation, to your place of fulfillment, is coming your way today in the name of Jesus. And the anchor scripture is Matthew 8, verse 8, Matthew 8, verse 8, and Luke 7, verse 7. And uh, today being the third day of this program, Amen. We'll be looking at another word. Amen. From the Lord that is going to manifest in your life, in every area of your life. But let's not forget by the special grace of God before we go into today's ministration. Our prayer requ our requests are be updated. For those of you who sent in up to about uh, an hour ago, it has been printed out and you have them here. And trust me, before the end of the program, we will stretch it, we will lift it up and we pray on it. Praise the Lord. And then um, by the grace of God, by tomorrow, by tomorrow, while I was praying overnight, God gave me some, God gave me word for some of them, not all the prayer requests. By tomorrow, by the special grace of God, amen, whatever I receive again today, I will begin to send it to your mail, to your WhatsApp. If you don't receive it on your WhatsApp, you receive it on your mail. I didn't say everybody. Those that I receive, amen, I won't tell you that I receive word for everybody. But hear me, the word that I receive, you receive it. But I have this assurance that each and every one of you, there's going to be a word, a word of comfort, a word of release, a word of promotion for you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And number two, before the end of the program, you remember, God said we should pray a particular prayer throughout this month. We also pray it. Amen. If you are joining us for the very first time and you are saying, oh, pastor, I don't know about the prayer link. Amen. Don't worry. The link will soon be online. Amen. Just check the comment page. You will see the link there. Amen. Click on the link and you go straight to that link. You send your name, your location, your WhatsApp number, your email, and you send it. Amen. Whatever the, your request, you present it. Amen. And we will lift it up before God every day throughout this month. People are giving testimony. You too, in the name of Jesus, you will testify in the name of Jesus. And to the glory of God, I have one of my pastor. One of my is my pastor. Is um, my brother. And he picked me as a friend, though he's far, far, <laughs> when I say far, 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 far older than me. Amen. Far, far older than me. To God, to the glory of God, is in the house. 
But I promise you, before we go today, I think it's we really want to bless our prayer request. Amen. I will bring him online. He will pray on our prayer request for us. Amen. His name is Pastor Festus Isewede. It's in the house to the glory of God. He's coming to pray on our prayer request. Amen. This man, I testify to the grace of God upon his life. For, for years, for years, we pray together, the two of us, for years. Every, I think every Monday, sir. Every Monday morning. Not one year, not two years, not three years. Either rain, either sun, we'll be there to pray to the glory of God. And uh, the, the testimony from those uh, prayers we pray for those years is what God is doing in my life today. And uh, where we meant to pray, to eternity. To eternity, the fruit of the prayer is still there and it will be there forever in the name of Jesus. You are welcome, sir. And also, I have another brother in there, sir. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Today, the third day of this program, the third day, three number of Trinity God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Today is the third day of this program, just a word. And we are looking at another word which God spoke. And what was that word? Genesis 1. 22 to 30. Genesis 1, 22 to 30. But we look at verse 28. Verse 20. Genesis 1, verse 28. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the heart, subdue it, have dominion over the flesh, over the fowl of the earth, and over everything that moves upon the earth. When we read this place, the very first thing that comes to our mind, be as a result of what our pastor always as a result of what my pastor, what my father, what my mother, amen, they taught us. <laughs> they always will meet one thing. When they are reading this, message, and the Lord bless them, and God said, so they will now take from the next one, be fruitful. No, we have missed something. Be fruitful is not the first statement there. And God bless them. And God does what? He bless them. That was the first statement. So many of us will think that, oh, the blessing of God started from be fruitful, uh, multiply, replenish the earth. My God, my sister, my brother, we have missed. <laughs> Amen. The very first blessing of God is God bless them. Full stop. <laughs> Praise God. Somebody say, what are you saying today? Amen. That is what we have in the Bible. And God bless them. When you look at this first, uh, this uh, scripture, you have eight Eight blessings of God there. The very first one, we have eight levels of blessing. The very first one, God bless them. Number two, and God said unto them, number two, be fruitful. Number three, replenish the earth. Number four, number three, multiply. Number four, replenish the earth. Number five, subdue it. Number six, have dominion over the fish. Number seven, over have dominion over the hair. Then number eight, over everything that moves upon the earth. When you look at it, when you count them one by one, you have eight, eight, eight prophetic blessings here. Yeah. Eight blessings from the living God. He blessed them is the first one there. Then number two, he asked them to be fruitful. And we always limit it when we are talking about fruitful. Oh, ah, me, I don't want to carry baby again. No, who is talking about baby? Did you see babies there? Did you see children there? He said, be fruitful. <laughs> we soon look at the detail about fruitfulness. Don't worry. Amen. So we have. Number uh, in this verse uh, 28, Genesis 1, verse 28, you have eight prophetic blessings there. Eight prophetic blessings there. And hear me, when you are looking at um, the numerology of numbers, the prophetic implication of numbers, either in the Bible or in the world, amen. Eight is a number of balance. When you are talking about numerology of numbers, I'm not saying you go into numerology. <laughs> Amen. You know, there are some people that they use number for divination. But let's look at the spiritual implications of that eight. You are, you know, we can't them. We have eight blessings there. Why do we have eight blessings? Not seven, not six, not five. Amen. Eight is a number of balance and inner stability. Balance and inner stability. That means God wants to balance your life. When you look at it, it says, have dominion over the hair. The fish of the hair, the bed of the hair, the bear, the fish inside water, and uh, and uh, the one creeping on. We have three levels of uh, habitation: the water, the land, and the hair. So stability. When you gain, when you gain upper hand on the hair, no no power will, will hold your blessing in the hair. When you have power over the the, the the water, no marine power 
We say, I'm the marine power. I want to hold words. <laughs> and we are talking about the land. Amen. So you have balance and inner stability. Whatever you are passing through, when you take this seven prophetic blessing from the Lord God, there will be stability in your life. Let them bamboo, let, let health, let health fall. No shaking. Somebody say no shaking. You know why? Because there's a place that you are going. A place of the blessings of the Lord. Amen. Eight is a now is a when you are looking at the now the, the prophetic implication of eight in the Bible, they, they made us know that a source of power and strength. When you are talking about eight, eight is a source of power and strength. You know why? Seven days God created the heavens and the earth. And on the eight days, what happened? Talk to me. <laughs> what happened? You are not going to talk. <laughs> Amen. That was rest. No work. Nothing. Let's begin to enjoy ourselves. Praise the Lord. Rest. So, amen. So, who is that man? Man, God. So, when you are looking at eight, eight is a source of power and strength. Which means eight is a number of God himself. Praise the Lord. Eight is a number of victory, a number of prosperity, and a number of, of people that overcome. I love that one. A number of prosperity. <laughs> Amen. You can't have dominion over the fish. That means over the water. You can't have dominion over the earth or over the heaven. Where are you going to do your business? Outside this three location. So God is saying, he's giving you dominion over those places. You can't do business there and you know have prosperity. Praise the Lord. Say amen. So I love that number. And also from the Bible, they made us to know that eight is a number of hope. A number of bright future. We are not talking about uh, it today. Amen. Praise the Lord. But we are looking at today, we'll be looking at, I don't want to rush. I want us to take it one by one so that we can understand and the word that we need. We'll be able to grab it. The very first statement in that verse 20 says, and God bless them. God bless them. You look at it that is, you know, or, uh, it is bless them. God bless them. Bless them. So it's just a word that is different that bless God. Who bless them? God. He bless who? He bless me. So what did God do? He bless. So look at it, it's very simple. Ha. Simple but loaded. Simple but what? But loaded. Hear me. When God bless them, for you to receive the blessing of God, it, it means you receive the favor of the Almighty God. You do not hear me. When God bless you. The very first thing you will notice in your life, the very first thing that people will notice in your life is what? Is favor. Anywhere you appear, anyone you, where you find yourself, it is favor. When you are expecting favor from God, just cry for God's blessing. People that God bless, what we see in their life is favor. Wherever they appear, people favor them. Their name attracts favor. Their presence attract favor everything about them it is favor have you not been somewhere before and you're on a roll on a long queue and somebody just come from nowhere and from the head of the organization everybody has said oh yes sir yes sir hey daddy you are welcome ah daddy Epele, daddy you are welcome <laughs> i won't mention a particular organization did i mention bank I didn't say bank you. Did I say bank? I didn't mention. You'll be on a long queue in bank. And one man will just come from nowhere. And oh, everyone will say, the cashier that was attending to you will just bone face. And, oh, daddy. Daddy, come. <laughs> Amen. Favor. Amen. Today, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. When I say the Lord bless you, it, it simply means, may you receive the favor of the Almighty God in the name of Jesus. Those that receive the favor of the Almighty God, those that the Lord God bless, they are the ones that receive the, the favor of the Almighty God. And what is favor? What is that blessing? We are talking about unusual favor, unusual honor, unusual blessing, unchallengeable and unchangeable breakthrough, eternal blessing, unchallengeable. Nobody can challenge it. No, you, you are not qualified for it. Let's take it and give it to those who are, who are older than you or who are more presentable than you or who don't. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Nobody can challenge it. And uh, what? I said, unchangeable. Oh, we are giving you this thing today. Oh, you are not, uh, you We see that uh, later that is too much for you. Let's divide it. We share it. No, that is not the favor of God. That is not the blessing of God. 
when men help you tomorrow you must always your your allegiance must always be to them yes sir yes sir yes sir the day you stop doing yes sir to them you are in all soup they will tell your the story of your grandmother if you are not careful they will <laughs> they will cease i've seen organizations they give you a car and uh, maybe after one month two months three months you do anything that is wrong <laughs> you go to a special they will seize the car from you they bless you with that car but they will withdraw it from you i see sir i see somebody that they gave a car to and after uh, two months the boss said look you are not doing work very well eh? it's like your head is not correct again if because of the car that i gave you two months ago i will seize it from you oh yeah my security withdraw the car from me <laughs> that is not the blessing of god the blessings of god is without sorrow is without limitation favor favor when you look at genesis 1 the bible says and god does what god bless abraham god, and uh, um, adam when god bless adam so it was after that when god bless him and god now gave him the very first test very first exam now you see everything that i've created oh yeah name them you did not tell me you asked me to name them what am i going to what did i know that they called them and the man stood beside them this one is goat this one is lion this one is leopard this one is mango tree and the bible said whatever name he gave them is the name that god called them he passed the very first test you know why because the lord god the blessing of god is upon him when the blessing of god is upon you you don't fall you don't make mistake any test, any exam that comes your way, you always be the, the best candidate, the best. When you are there to present, you are the best, very best person. Why? Because the blessing of God is upon you. And let's not forget, I said the blessing of God attracts what? Favor. It opens your life to favor. There are a lot of people in the Bible that uh, God bless and the blessing of God upon them show forth in the area of favor. What about Noah? Genesis 8 and Genesis 9. And the Bible says, And after Noah carried sacrifice before the Lord God, and the Lord smelled the aroma of the, uh, in Genesis 8, and the Bible said, God, God perceived, smelled the aroma of the sacrifice. And what happened? And the Lord blessed him. The Lord blessed him. For those of you who are seeing the Gledali, should I give him the seed? Should I? Should I? <laughs> Amen. When you carry sacrifice before the living God, when you bring an offering before the work of God, it's not that man that you are giving it unto. You are giving it unto God. He carried the sacrifice, and God smelled it, and God blessed him, and his life multiplied. You have a lot. Abraham, Genesis twelve, Genesis twelve, and the Bible says, and God does what? God bless Abraham too, and God says, your generation, your seed, your generation, they will be blessed. Not only that, listen to me. Another thing about blessing of God is when God decrees, I bless you. You are not the only one that will enjoy the blessing. The blessing of God is transgenerational. That means it's moved from one generation to the another. From when God blessed Abraham, Isaac was not born at that time. But Isaac was blessed. Jacob, the grandson, was not born, was not born at all at that time. But Jacob also was, was blessed. All the great, 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 the lineage of Abraham, they were born. They were blessed. That is why I'm blessed. You know why? Because I'm, the, I'm from the lineage of Abraham. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. The blessing of God upon a man, it moved from one generation to another. From one generation to another. As I've said that a good sign of God blessing upon a man is favor. For you to know that God bless you, you begin to attract favor. What you are not qualified for, they will call you to give it to you. Amen. Abraham was distinguished as a result of the blessing of God. Amen. In Exodus 33, 17 to 23, Moses said, if I have found favor, Moses was the only one man that can describe the image, the look alike of God. How God look, alike, look like. Because the Bible says he saw God. Moses was the only one that can tell us the voice, the sound, the everything about God. Though, if, when you, if you want to know the color of God, just look at my color. The shape of his head, just look at my shape. I keep telling people, and I'm, I'm sincerely, it's true. You want to know how God speaks, just look at the way I talk. 
You know why? The Bible said he created me in his image. I'm just his photocopy. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So Moses was, he said, if I have found favor before you, that means if I have been blessed, if truly really you have blessed me, and God answered him. Exodus 12, 36. Exodus 12, 36. The God, the Bible said, Israelites, God grant them favor. That means God bless them in the sight of their enemy. God grant them favor. And God said, go and meet your enemy. Decree, ask for, uh, for good. And I don't know what kind of manipulation. They will ask for one, 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 one uh, weight, one horse of uh, gold. And the Bible said, the Egypt, the Egyptian, they will give them theory. You ask for one, they will give you theory. You ask for three, they give you five. You ask for five, they will pack the whole house and give you. Amen. Why? Because of the favor of God, the Lord grant them favor. So when they are making their proposal, their proposal was not rejected and their expectation was not turned down. Instead of their expectation to be turned down, God multiply it. As many of you are business people in the house, as many of you have proposal that you are submitted one way in some place or the other, I decree, I declare upon your proposal. I decree, I declare upon your business. Let the favor of the Almighty God locate you in the name of Jesus. Let your proposal, let your letter, let your application receive the favor of God in the name of Jesus. Receive the favor of God. Receive the favor of God. Receive the favor of God. Receive the favor of God in the name of Jesus. What about Joseph? Joseph was inside problem in the prison. And the Bible said he found favor before the gate, uh, the prison, uh, to the point that the prison warders, Joseph, whatever you do in this place, we, are, we don't want to have input. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Daniel also was in a strange land. But the Bible said he obtained the favor of the Almighty God and he was promoted. He was promoted to the point that that is manipulation. But I love that kind of manipulation. Sir, I love that kind of manipulation. A slave in a strange land, just like Joseph, does it mean that there's nobody that will qualify for them for those positions? A slave, ordinary slave. And they promoted, they were promoted to the Joseph was promoted to the position. The, the king said, the only thing, the only thing is my position. And I think his wife. <laughs> he just had the man did not mention it. His wife. But he said the food I'm going to eat. Joseph, you will dictate it. All the chief, uh, all the kings make, all of them, everybody, you have to submit yourself to Joseph before you eat. If Joseph says you are eating two times in a day, you eat two times in a day. If Joseph says you are eating one, day, one time in a day, it is only one time. Is that no manipulation? What about Daniel? A slave, ordinary, sir, ordinary slave. He was promoted to the position of a prime minister that he will be the one to dictate, to solve problems, to solve riddles. Does it mean that there are some people that are qualified? Ordinary slave. I love that kind of manipulation. <laughs> Amen. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As many of you that are watching me, you are in one organization or the other working for people. The favor of the Almighty God that will promote you, that will lift you up. Receive it in the name of Jesus. 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 Receive that favor in the name of Jesus. Luke 1, 28 and 30. Luke 1, 28 and 30. The angels of the living God came. Listen to me. We always read it. And he spoke to Mary. Number one, Mary was not the only, that lady was not the only person behind Mary at that time. Number two, she was not the only virgin at that time. There are many other people who are virgin. Even our own case, there's a clause there. You know the clause? She already has somebody that she's going to marry. So, I, I, you know, when we are in love, you are thinking about uh, by this time next year, you begin to think, ah, when I when you are alone, when I marry finish in my husband's house, I walk like this. We do like this. We do like this. So Mary must have been desiring because there is somebody, they know that, oh, I'm going to marry this person. They are preparing for marriage or wedding, whatever you call it. But there are some people on land at that time. They were virgin. There's no husband. There's no wife. There's no spouse. There's nobody. There's no what you call fiancé, boyfriend, girlfriend. There's nothing at that time. But I love what the Bible said about him. Greetings, oh 
favored one. Greetings. The angels visited her. I said, Greetings, oh favored one. And the new King James said, Oh, greetings, highly, thou highly favored one. Ha! Huh. Thou highly. That means there's a level of favor. Some people receive, some people are highly favored. As many of you are in the house that you are watching me today, I decree, I declare the blessing of God that will bring highly favor upon you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. She was blessed that thou art highly favored. And when she was saying, what rubbish are you saying, Oga? You miss road. And the angel said, no, I did not miss road. For the Lord said, he, the, the angels now repeated it again. Verse 28 and verse 30. Say, don't be afraid. Because you have found favor before the Almighty God. Out of all those people who are married, you have found favor. Out of all the CC in the house, you have found favor. Out of all the singles in the house, you have found favor. As many of you are singles in the house, believing God for partner, life partner, I decree and I declare the favor of the Almighty God in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. And as many of you who are believing God for fruit of the womb, you know, by the grace of God, but tomorrow we go to the next one, which is be fruitful. I keep telling people, by the grace of God, we have a group online. The same group, S-E-M. S for Sarah, E for Elizabeth, and M for Mary. This is the group that people are believing God for fruit of the womb. I keep telling them, it is not spam, an egg that fertilizes and produces you. Medically, it is egg and spam. But spiritually, go beyond that. If it is egg and spam, all of us, we have... Uh, <laughs> Why is it that some people, they will go to hospital, they will carry out all manners of tests, and they medically they are fit. But if care is not taken to eternity, they will not smell it. It is the favor of God. If you are believing God for the fruit of the womb, it's not about age. If it's about age, somebody like me will not be on this earth. My mother keeps sharing it until the glory of God. She's 100 now, 100 years old. And uh, she's still an LD. I was there about two weeks ago. <laughs> amen. You know, being the last born, amen. I was there and uh, all the great grandchildren are around. They were just teasing the two of us. When that old woman, when I told her that I'm on my way, she sent them to go and buy pepper, sir, buy okra. <laughs> so she not cook. <laughs> she she cook it by herself. <laughs> so in the night, she said, oh yeah, people make it by herself for him. And all those children and I say, who is going to you? Who is going to eat your your old <laughs> old age soup? Ah, you look at that. Say you people are not serious. Me old age soup is the soup that I use to to treat to feed your your great grandmother. Amen. Praise the Lord. According to her and my immediate sister, seven years between us, in my immediate sister, the person I follow, seven years, and what happened? She already entered menopause. My mother, she already entered menopause. And one day, she was uh, feeling somehow. And uh, she went to the hospital for where after she had taken, you know, those our mother, they used to take out, I go. <laughs> she went to the doctor, and the doctor said, Old woman, where is your husband? He said, My husband, because my father has a bakery. Amen. He said, She must have, he must have gone to deliver bread. He said, You are pregnant. And according to my mother, she laughed. When she said that, and this day I tried to study the Bible, I know why Sarah laughed. My mother laughed. He said, Doctor, you are not seeing well. And in those days, there's nothing like scan. They were scan and. Uh, <laughs> and the, the, the doctor was a white uh, man. He said, I said, Madam, all the signs I'm seeing on you, you are pregnant. And my mother said, I'm not pregnant. And my mother was telling the doctor the reason why she's, she's, she was not pregnant at that time. Listen to me, doctor. My last born, she's seven years now. My first born has put to bed. My second born has put to bed. <laughs> Sir. My mother's uh, first, uh, our first grandson, first grandson. So my mother's first grandson, the guy is older than me, like about four, three or four years. Our great grandson, our grandson. <laughs> so the mom was telling the doctor the reason 
and then my me, I'm hold uh, my monthly something. I stopped for almost about five, five or six years, and my husband, we don't have, even have time. You know, like not like this day that they used to uh, oven for bakery. In those days, it is wood. You you say we 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 are into bakery. We produce bread, and I will be the one to mix flour. I will miss be the one to clean the uh, pot, the pan. You say decrease, amen. And the doctor just look at it. And my mother was now teaching the doctor what to do. He said, I know when people are pregnant. When I look at them, I tell them. That was my mother was telling the doctor that. When I see people are pregnant, I tell them how to, that, oh, you are pregnant. It must be like three or four months. And the doctor laughed. I said, okay, don't worry. Shebi, you have experience. Will you teach me what I know? I'm not going to give you any drug. My mother said, give me drug. I'm sure that it must be malaria or typhoid. <laughs> and the doctor laughed. He said, woman, what do you do is this? You go back home. You come back next month. I'm not giving you anything. Just go back home. But stop taking herbs that you are taking to cure your malaria. Stop using it. Just be taking water. But come back next month. So we will know who is right. Me or you. <laughs> Sir, my mother refused to go back again. Because when she told the husband, his husband looked at her and said, you are not pregnant. So on the second day, she came back. The man came back again. I said, come, it's like, your body is a little bit changed. Yo. My mother said, overnight, my body changed. To the glory of God, sir. F four months after that, she put to bed. Four months after that, she put to bed. So which means, this woman was pregnant for five months. Unknown. Grace. So if you are there, you are still believing that one, one treatment or one or that will, treat, will give you children. One uh, drug. Uh, this. Don't disturb yourself. Mary said, how will this thing happen? Because you have, and the angel was telling her, you don't understand. You are highly favored. The angels repeated it again. You are highly favored. When the favor of God come upon those who are believing God for fruit of the womb, they conceive because the power of the Almighty God will overshadow you. And the angel now said, let me tell you how it's going to happen. Number one, you are highly favored. And that favor will bring the power of the Almighty God upon you. And the spirit of the living God will overshadow you. Incubation. When a sheik when a, a, an hen, sir, hen, when they lay egg, what did they do? They sat on it to do what? To incubate it. So the angel said, the power of the Almighty God will come upon you and the spirit of the living God will overshadow you. Is that not incubation? The spirit of the living God will incubate you. And that which is holy shall be born through you. So those of you who are believing God for fruit of the womb, I prophesy to your life right now. I prophesy to your womb. I prophesy to your marriage. I don't want to know what the medical record is. I don't want to know how old you are. I don't want to know the issue. Either physical, either spiritual, either attack. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the favor of the Almighty God for you to conceive. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive the favor. Receive the favor. Receive the favor. Favor. So when God says you are blessed, it's loaded. It, it, it has a lot of tentacles. Mary was favor, and that's release our life to the point of bringing forth our lord jesus christ luke 1 28 and 30 but when you go to luke 2 verse 40 the bible said jesus christ himself he grow in wisdom and in, in understanding and with favor with god and man the trinity the bible seem recorded that he obtained favor from god and man and when you look at first samuel 2 26 first samuel 2 26 the bible says samuel grew and what happened? You obtain the favor of God and the favor of men. When you obtain the favor of God, everything that you are looking for, your expectation from men will begin to fall into shape. You will not need to beg them before they, before they help you. You still have one uncle that you still run after to help you because you have not received the favor of the Almighty God. If there is an unresolved issue in your life, it's because you have not received the favor of the Almighty God. If the order of the day in your life, in your marriage, your business, your career, is sweat and struggle, it's because you have not received the blessing of the Almighty God. The moment you receive the blessing of the Almighty God, favor will, will, will step in. And when favor step in, they will beg you to help you. From today, I decree and I declare the favor of the Almighty God that we attract the blessing of men. Let it come upon you in the name of Jesus. Let it come upon you in the name of Jesus. When God bless you, when God bless you, as I said at the beginning, the very first sign of it is you begin to see favor. You begin to obtain favor. 
both from heaven and from the earth. Whatever you lay your hand upon, we begin to prosper. Doors on their own accord, we begin to open for you. You are running after one thing, ten things will be saying, Yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Here we are. Why? Because you carry the blessing of the Almighty God. Can we quickly take one prayer before we go inside the prayer? Lay hand on your head. Say, My head, receive the blessing of God. Say from today, say, Oh, you, my head, receive God's blessing. In the name of Jesus, oh, you, my head, receive God's blessing. In the name of Jesus, my head, my head, my head, receive the blessing of God. In the name of Jesus, lay hand on your head and decree the blessing of God. Say, My head, receive the blessing of God. In the name of Jesus, my head, my head, my head, receive the blessing of God. In the name of Jesus, receive his blessing. 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 Jesus' name we have decreed. In Jesus' name we have decreed. Number 6, 22 to 27. Number 6. Please, everybody, this is where we are praying from today. Say, the Lord bless them. Many of us, we always jump that. And that is why the blessing is not forthcoming. Because you jump what's supposed to be number 1. You jump to number 2. Where do you put number one? Copy your Bible to Numbers, the book of Numbers, 6, 22 to 27. I read from King James Version. And the Lord said, the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron. Aaron was the high priest at that time. Aaron was the oracle. Aaron was the mouth of God. Whatever come out of the mouth of Aaron is established. Stamp. So, God said, Moses, tell Aaron and his sons. You see the sons there. That means anyone that will come in the order of Aaron, the Aaronic priesthood, anyone that will come as a, as a priest unto the living God, tell them, on this wise you will bless the children of Israel. In this way, in this format, this is the format for you to bless them. You want to pray for people as a priest. This is the four months. You go outside this four months, you are on your own. But you want quick answer. This is the four months. And what is the four months? Number one, say unto them, The Lord bless thee. <laughs> it's not be fruitful. Say unto them, The Lord bless thee. Do you see the blessing there? The Lord bless thee. The Lord bless thee. And after that, after the Lord has blessed you, what is next? He said, the Lord keep you protection. God need to bless you. After he bless you, he will not keep you. You know what God need to, where that would need to be the next one. When God bless you, we have seen that inside the blessing, you are expecting fruit of the womb, you are expecting enlargement, you are expecting increase in your business. All these ones are blessings of God. So after that, God need to secure your affairs. God needs to watch over your testimony so that affairs destroyers they will not come and destroy your affairs. So that is why after the God bless you, the Bible now says, and the Lord keep you. Everything I bless you with, I will watch over them. I will keep them. Then number three, the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. What is another word for gracious? Faithful. You see the repetition there. When God make his face to shine upon you, what is that? It is favor. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, when you look detail about this thing, the only thing that is different there, he said, and lift up his countenance upon you, the favor of God, and give you peace. The only two things that are different there is the Lord keep you, and the Lord give you peace. When you remove those two things from the other thing, it is favor, favor, favor. So indirectly, the blessings of God open your life and release your life into a season of favor. This is how you bless them. The Lord bless thee. As many of you that are watching me right now, I decree, I declare, I prophesy into your life. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Say just a word, speak a word, and it shall be so. If your faith carry this prophetic blessing, hear me. If you are believing God for fruit of the womb, lay hand on your womb. If you are believing God for healing, lay hand on that area where you are sick, where there is ailment. If there is pain in any organs of your body, lay your hand in that exact place. 
If you are believing God for lifting, lay your hand on your head. If your glory, your marital glory, the work of your hand, they are not blossom. Lay your hand on your head. Your head represents your glory. Thank you, Jesus. If you have expectation from anybody, you have proposal, amen. Lift the proposal up right now. Or you lay hand on that proposal. Have you done that? I stretch my hand towards you according to the order of the Almighty God. I decree, I declare, concerning as many of you that are listening to me, as many of you that are watching me right now, I decree and I declare, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. The blessing of the Almighty God come upon that your head in the name of Jesus. Concerning the work of your hand, concerning your business, concerning your, your career, let the blessing of God come upon them in the name of Jesus. Concerning your marriage, in the name of Jesus, receive the blessing of the Almighty God in the name of Jesus. Concerning your husband or your wife, I decree, I declare upon your spouse, your husband, your wife, in the name of Jesus, let them receive the blessing of God in the name of Jesus. Concerning your children, home and abroad, wherever your children are right now, I decree, I declare the blessing of God in the name of Jesus. Let your children receive the blessing of God. The blessing of God. Let it come upon them in the name of Jesus. As you receive the blessing of God, you will not use your mouth to decree and declare, O oh Lord my God, by your blessing, favor my work, favor my marriage, favor my business. In the name of Jesus, can you begin to decree and declare, say, O oh Lord my God, by your blessing, favor my work, favor my life, favor my marriage, favor my business, favor my career. In the name of Jesus, begin to decree and declare, let the Lord God favor you. In the name of Jesus, the favor of God, the favor of God, the favor of God, the favor of God, the favor of God. Ask for his favor. In the name of Jesus, the favor of the Almighty God. Ask for that favor. So, Lord my God, favor me, O Lord. Favor the work of my hand, my marriage, my business, my career, my proposal. In the name of Jesus, decree and declare. Let the Lord God favor you. In the name of Jesus, decree for his favor. One minute, pray for that favor. Let the favor of God come upon you. Say, Father, I receive favor. In the name of Jesus, I receive favor. 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 Concerning my work. Concerning my marriage, concerning my business, concerning my career, I receive favor in the name of Jesus. Favor me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, favor my cause. Favor my cause. Favor my life. Favor my marriage. Favor my business. Favor my career. In the name of Jesus, decree and declare the favor of the Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, the favor of God. The favor of God. The favor of God. Say, I receive favor. In the name of Jesus, I receive favor. In the name of Jesus, I receive favor. In the name of Jesus, don't be tired. Decree and declare. 30 seconds more. Favor of the Almighty God. Upon the work of your hand. Upon your marriage. Upon your business. Upon your career. The favor of God. In the name of Jesus. The favor of God. In the name of Jesus. The favor of God. In the name of Jesus. The favor of God. Decree and declare for that favor. For that favor. For that favor. For that favor. For that favor, for that favor, for that favor, the favor of God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Jesus' name we have decreed. In Jesus' name we have decreed. May the Lord God watch over you and keep his blessing in the name of Jesus. From this time henceforth, in the name of Jesus, wherever you appear, wherever your children appear, wherever your spouse appear, he shall be unto favor in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. In Jesus' name, I decree. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Before I bring my pastor in to come and pray on our prayer request, let's not forget for those who are joining us for the very first time. Once again, my name is Ariola Orelua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry. And this is Praying Eagles Network. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. These are some of the prophecy and revelation for this prayer. Edition, pray avalanche edition. I always like to repeat it every blessed day so that those who are joining us for the very first time they will receive their home and they'll be able to run with it. By the grace of God, God is saying stability of marriage. Any marriage that they are shaking, amen. Don't worry, 
no divorce in the name of Jesus, no putting asunder in the name of Jesus. God is going to stabilize it in the name of Jesus. Number two, God is saying during this prayer line that I want to that people will receive houses, and those who are who have houses but they are not uh, they have not been able to complete. God is saying they will receive grace to complete it. Somebody say, or the houses? Are you sure? I am sure. <laughs> Last uh, prayer avalanche edition. How many of us you are part of it? During the prayer avalanche edition, uh, last uh, prayer avalanche, that is July, am I right? July this year, God gave this ministry two plots of land in a place very close to this Lagos. For you to get a plot of land in and around Lagos, you know the cost. So with that sweat and struggle, <laughs> hey amen, I just finished uh, ministration one uh, prayer avalanche and in the evening, I went for another ministration. As I finished, he said, Pastor, you have landed property in Lagos. I said, Lagos, <laughs> no. And the man said, you receive it. In you receive it. I said, yes, I receive it in Jesus. He said, I'm not prophesying. He said, I'm giving it to you. I said, eh. He said, what are you building house? I said, no, I give it unto God. He said, you give it unto God. Okay, if you are giving it unto God, I will give you another one. Make it two. <laughs> I look at it. Believe me. Prayer avalanche. July edition. Year 2021. Two plots of land. Without sweat and struggle. So, me, when I receive this, I claim it for myself. If God have done it, to give us is not too much. As many of you are tenants right now, next prayer avalanche, you will be in your own house, including me, in the name of Jesus. Number three, scatter homes and marriages shall be restored in the name of Jesus. As many of you, number four, as many of you have been granted by sickness for years, God is saying he's going to heal you, he will raise you and lift you up from that sickness in the name of Jesus. Let's not forget, he said on the 13th, on the 14th, on the 15th of this program, that we should cry for favor, favor of the Almighty God. Amen. I also asked us to pray against death. We'll do that before my pastor will come and pray. And he said, I should tell you, an end come to that contention. There's somebody online, you have a property or you are bidding for property, but they're supposed to give you that property. They're not giving it to you. Other people are receiving and uh, you don't know what is going on. Why? Because there's a contention, spiritual contention over it. I should not give you. God is saying, I should tell you, an end come to that contention in the name of Jesus. By next prayer avalanche, you will be on that property. That property will be you will be owner of it in the name of Jesus. I love this. The next one. Breaking barriers to expansion. I want to expand. Praise the Lord. I want to expand. So God is saying, grace to break barriers to expansion. As many of you want to expand your business, your ministry, your career, grace to break barriers to expansion. Receive it in the name of Jesus. And the Lord said, I should just decree this. Joy overflow. As you say, amen, in the name of Jesus. Let your joy overflow in the name of Jesus. On that matter, on that issue, receive joy in the name of Jesus. And uh, while I was praying concerning our prayer request, I don't know who is the person. The Lord said, I should tell you, if you are online or you are you have an issue with immigration, amen, the Lord said, it's going to set you in the name of Jesus. And the visa the piece of visa was granted amen there was approval amen what people thought that uh, you could not get amen the lord release it amen let's lift up our hand as you appreciate our lord our god before pastor come i decree i declare upon each and every one of you that are watching me online in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every covenant of death over your life every covenant of death over your marriage every covenant of death in and around you Today, heaven terminate them in the name of Jesus. Heaven terminate them in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, we break every covenant of death in the name of Jesus. Every covenant of death, we break it in the name of Jesus. 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 Anything that will lead to death, fire accident, water accident, gas accident, and multiple people will begin to fall down and they just be dying. People from long distance, they will just fall down and they just be dying as a result of that incident. Today, by the blood of Jesus, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. We cancel it in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. In Jesus' name, we have decreed. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. With the joy of Holy Ghost, I bring in my pastor, my brother. Amen. <laughs> pastor, first us, is ever there to come and bless our prayer request one thing about this this my brother is 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 this by the special grace of god is is a pastor and at the same time 
is a, is a teacher of the world. Amen. I learned repentance from him. <laughs> repentance. I learned it from him. And it's also into rural evangelism. Sir, so I'm still believing God for grace. <laughs> Amen. This man, what for me, what gives me joy is to come online and see people being blessed and tell them the pray, about prayer. But what gives him joy is for him to go into rural. It, I'm not talking about city. Interior village and bless them, especially the ministers of God there, yeah, and bless them. Amen. So before you pray for us, amen, if you have material in your house, you are in Lagos, you are in anywhere, amen, what you always do is this, if you seek for either clothes, the clothes inside your wardrobe that you are not using, all those material, your children material, the money in your bank that you are not using, please bring it, you want to go and use it. Ordinary 5,000 error. Sometimes weaken the faith of pastors in the villages. So what he does is, is he gather money, gather resources together, and go to the extreme root village and give it to pastors to encourage them. So that they too, many of our problems are from the village where we left. So those are the pastors that are dealing with altar and shrines there. <laughs> Amen. So you go there, bless them with it. We have books, you have material, please, that you want to give. I'm part of it. Please let me know after. Anywhere you are in Lagos and its environment, we will come and pick it. We take it to the rural area to come and bless, to go and bless pastors there. Sir, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Uh, it's a honor to be here this time. And this hour. I just say this, it's time for me to come and see my brother. He's also my teacher also. <laughs> Because uh, we have started this thing for a long time. Thank you, I say, well, I have to come today. I know it's a peculiar day and it's a prophetic day. Amen. The Lord will honor him in Jesus' name. And I just have this word from the Lord as he was ministering, as he was teaching, as he was asking. I have this ministration from the Lord that, you see, as Christians, we most, most times we run away from battles. Ah, but we want testimony, we want victory. But I can tell you, victory comes from battles. Do you remember all that he has called our fathers, the Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, name them. They all went through battles. Yeah. And as he was ministering, I was here in the 11th hour. We are in the yeah. 11th hour. This, this month, November, is the 11th month. Yeah. You see, it's like a tunnel. You are, you are passed through that tunnel which is dark. You are almost coming out. Amen. And as many that are in that position, the Lord is saying that your time of visitation is now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone that have labored, everyone that look unto the Lord for one purpose or for one reason or the other, the Lord is saying today that the time of visitation is now. Amen. And you shall receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says in Psalm 102 verse 13 that the set time is now to visit Jacob. Yes, the Lord. set time to visit you yes, in that Lord. situation yes, is Lord. now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord that is ever there yes, is a man of battle. Yes. He's a man of victory. Yes. But battle comes before victory. Hmm. That battle that you are going through, the victory is now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As the air, you know, you have prayed so much. It's like a cloud. The cloud is, is, is saturated. Certainly it must fall. Yes, the Lord. time for the, for the rain to shower and to rain and for give you that floodgate is now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You know, he has said it. We are blessed already. And Jesus came and told us that we are the light of the world. Mm. And anywhere there is light, there is goodness. Yes. Your light that is hidden that for so long, Jesus. that your glory that man has hidden, yes. man has, 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 has mortgaged, man glory to shine forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As you begin to, to look unto Christ, the author and finisher of our faith, the Lord will see you through your situations in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray again for many, as many of you, Lord of my, that are listening to this, our brother. He's a teacher also. I can tell you he's a teacher. We've been praying for so many years and I can see the fruit. I have learned so much from him. You see, the modern day Christianity, we have turned it to butter, bread and butter. <laughs> it's not. 
great men are made through trials. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If we look at the world, the world that we are looking at, those men, they, they, they pay so much price. And we, we have already victory. You know, it's, it's like when you are going to somewhere, you already know where you are going. The Bible says it's the beginning, the end, the beginning and the end. end. We know our end. Our end is victory. Yes, Lord. So what we are passing through now is just a, a, a process to that very end that God has ordained. Amen. And yours will not leave you in a Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, I pray that today is a Jesus. day of remembrance. Amen. A day to add, to, to, to look back to and say, yes, it's true. Amen. God has done it. Amen. The third day, Jesus resurrected. Hallelujah. The power of resurrection. Thank you. Let it Jesus. rest upon all that you are passing through now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. May bless the work of your hands. Amen. Every every area where you are have stagnation, the Lord, the oil of God, the dew of heaven will begin to wet them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Those things that I say will not sprout up. If they will part, they will, they will spur up again in life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. May the Lord God bless our pastor in the name of Jesus. Amen. Once again, is is my pastor, Pastor Festus is seven day. His ministry is into rural evangelism, especially to minister to pastors. Those who are working for God in the rural area, Amen. If you, if God have led you today, you know I don't, I don't do this today. If God have led you to sow a seed, Amen. To partner with us to minister to, especially pastors in the rural area, please. After this program, just let me know. If you are into, if you have boutique and you have clothes, you have shoes that you are not selling again, please bring them, <laughs> Amen. Bring them, sow them as a seed. We take it to the rural feet, amen, to the villages and give it to pastors, to, chi- to pastors' children there, amen. Many pastors' children are saying they will not do the work of God. Why? Because every day there's nothing to show that they don't see any good things in the life of their father. They are wearing tatter clothes. Please, whatever God have, well, have helped you with, let's take it to those villages and encourage ministers of God that the Lord will encourage us in the name of Jesus. Once again, till we come again tomorrow by the special grace of God for day four of this program. If you have anybody around you that is believing God for fruit of the womb, tell them not to miss tomorrow for anything at all. They should not miss tomorrow. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Again, by the special grace of God, till we meet again tomorrow for day four of this program, go forth and let the blessing of God begin to speak and bring favor your way in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Lift your hands, everybody, say, just breathe your name.